here's my first print from my brand new gel press. I just got it today and I want to do some playing with it. Just using a bit of old book page to get some prints off that. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pale. Look at that. I've got a brayer. This is something I've had forever. My gel press is uh, 5 by 7 and its uh, brand is gel press. So that's it. Came in the mail today. I wasn't going to buy one, but I just couldn't resist. Okay, I'm weak. Weak, I know I'm weak. Thank you. I just want to do a bit of blue. So this is just a warm blue. The paints I'm using are these uh, chroma krill. Is that how you say it? Chroma krill. I just got them from the art shop um, from Eckersley's. They were, I think, $4.15 a piece and they've got 75 mils in them or 2.5 US fluid ounces. And that's just because they were quite cheap. I wanted to use something that wasn't going to break the bank because my understanding was that a lot of this uh, gel press stuff actually takes quite a bit of paint. You store your brayer so it sits up on the little stand that's built in. That's because if you don't, it's round and you'll get a flat spot. Even my little baby one here has got these little feet, so it can be sat like that when it's not in use time. I'm going to use a stencil. And what I've done is I've made my own stencil. So I saw some stencils, I've got quite a few of them, but I thought, you know, I've got this piece of, um, it was a divider, so it's quite thick. Um, I don't know what you call it, this stuff. Somebody will leave me a comment and tell me what that is. And I just cut some shapes out of it. I thought, oh, that's cool. I'll cut some shapes and see what happens. So I'm going to lay this back down. I've only used a gel press once, and that was last week. And I thought I was going, not going to get one. but yeah. Look at that, just like I bought one. How's that? That's pretty cool. The other good thing is when I take that up and move it off, I can actually, I'm not sure it's going to come out on there, so I'll do a new sheet. If you lay that down again, just give it a bit of a rub and peel it off. Look at that. Ah, there's the first one, and that's the negative. Oh, that's really cool. Let's put something else on this one, shall we? Maybe a bit more blue, I think. Yeah, I definitely need some blue on there. And maybe a bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe just a bit of blue. If you do it like that, you're actually sort of creating a pattern on the gel press itself. No idea what this will do, but let's give it a go. See how I've got like a pattern, whereas before... I had quite smooth thing. So this is an existing uh, stencil that I have. It's a Tim Holtz stencil. It's got stars on it. That's cute. And let's just lay that down on another piece of paper, what's left. the negative and the positive of that but these are just basic student grade colors I do have some proper acrylic paints but you don't want to uh, put that down when you've spent a fortune on the acrylic paints for doing other work with and suddenly you're using them on the jelly plate you smooth it out see last time I did it so it was all bumpy this time I'm trying to get a bit of a smoother finish I've got this mask here. I know you've seen me use that in other videos. And I just, it's ac actually not a template, it's a mask. So I'm gonna put that down and see what happens if I use it with the jelly press. Oh, that's way cool, isn't it? And even if you don't want these yet, hold on to them if you're doing this sort of thing because you'll find that um, you'll be using them at other times 
I'll just do one on the back of this and you can decide which one you want to use there you go that's really nice too I've got this stamp it's just a stamp of faces so I thought I'd give this a go and see what sort of effect we get if I just stamp on there there you go just created so what it's done is it's lifted some of that paint off um, the gel press and it's left me with that impression here's some other tips let's see how these ones go so this is an embossing folder a cuddle bug embossing folder and I've been using it in my um, pottery so it's pretty dirty <laughs> but I wanted to see if I lay that down and now I take an image of that oh, yes look at that I pulled out one of my nestability dies I'm sure if you're a crafter like me you've got lots of things in your drawers and you think you might not use them anymore but I'm just working out things that I can use I'm just sort of thinking what else do I have in my drawer I'll put this down I'll put it face down so the flat sides that on the um, against the jelly press not the rib side I've got another little baby one here. I think this one's too big. Yep. And then I'm going to do that transfer. Ta-da! There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Deborah. Till next time, cheers.